April 7, 2008. Good evening, everyone. I'm Terry Moran. And we begin tonight with a story of power and money and what to a lot of people looks like an exchange of one for the other. It involves the CEO of a massive energy company and some very high-ranking elected officials with many, many millions of dollars at stake. Our chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, is here in New York. Brian? Terry, the story might be familiar for anyone who has read John Grisham's latest novel, The Appeal. Except this story is not fiction. It is a real-life example of how private interests seem to pressure our justice system and leave people wondering if the courts are fair and impartial. In this case, we're talking about one of the country's 50 state supreme courts. Massey Energy is the country's fourth biggest coal company and a force to be reckoned with in West Virginia. Mr. Blankenship. As we discovered when we first met up with the ABC company News. chairman and CEO, Don Blankenship. No, how you doing, Mr. Blankenship? ABC News. Hey, sir. Don't touch my camera. Let me. Our run-in with Blankenship is only the latest chapter in a six-year-long saga involving him, his company, multi-million dollar jury verdicts, and Blankenship's relationship with certain justices on the state Supreme Court, including trips to the Riviera with the Chief Justice. There's a lot of money at stake here. It is one of the Supreme Court's own justices, Larry Starcher, who has raised many of the questions about what he calls Blankenship's efforts to buy the court by spending millions of dollars. Don Blankenship's only interest in the Supreme Court is having the court to rule favorably his way. He has no interest in seeing that we have a high-quality justice system. It was six years ago when Blankenship's Massey Energy was accused of using fraud to force a smaller coal company out of business. A jury found against Massey and awarded a verdict that now stands at $76 million. There were so many people that were hurt in this. We had 150 miners that lost their jobs. Most of them lost their medical benefits. Hugh Caperton, who owned the company that sued Massey Energy, says taking Blankenship's company to court was important but not easy. His basic comment back to me was, well, you know, you don't want to take this to court because we'll tie you up for years. And once the verdict came back, Blankenship's company appealed the case to the West Virginia Supreme Court, whose all five justices are elected, not appointed, to office. But as the appeal was pending, Blankenship then helped to raise three and a half million dollars for an advertising campaign. Liberal Judge Warren McGraw led to the defeat of a justice perceived to be against Massey Energy. They had a, a sign with a target on his back, uh, said they were going to take him out. The candidate favored by Blankenship, Brent Benjamin, was the first Republican elected to the Supreme Court in West Virginia in decades. I said he bought a seat on the Supreme Court, and, and uh, I, think it, I think that today he made an expenditure of money that resulted in having a favorable seat on the Supreme Court. Bought himself a seat yeah. on, the, on this court. That's, uh, that's a term I've used before, so stand by it. And that bothered me, and it still bothers me. And uh, unfortunately, Justice Benjamin sees uh, nothing wrong with it. He sees that uh, there's no reason for him to step aside in Massey cases, despite multiple motions for him to recuse himself. Justice Benjamin declined repeated requests from ABC News to be interviewed for this report. He has said the money spent to help elect him has no influence on his judicial rulings. If that's not the appearance of impropriety, then I don't know what is. I think. I think only a fool would say that it would not look like, at least look like, a person would be influenced by that amount of money, whether you are or not. It looks like you are. But that's not the only question being raised about Blankenship and the court, especially since these photos were made public. When we come back, the Chief Justice and the CEO caught on film on the French Riviera. So let's go back now to Brian Ross and his investigation of a West Virginia coal company and the relationship between the company's CEO and some of the most powerful judges in the state. The Chief Justice of the state Supreme Court is old friends with that CEO, but he continued to hear a major lawsuit involving the company. Then, when photographs showed the two sharing an expensive vacation, well, that changed things. 
This is the French Riviera, one of the most expensive vacation spots in the world, where a glass of champagne is $25 or more. It is the very place where, in the summer of 2006, the Chief Justice of the West Virginia Supreme Court met up with the CEO of the big coal company that had tens of millions of dollars in cases before the court. Chief Justice Elliot Spike Maynard on the left and the CEO of Massey Energy, Don Blankenship, on the right. It obviously shows uh, two men that uh, have a close relationship. I don't think it shows that they're strangers. Fellow Justice Larry Starcher says he was outraged when he first saw the pictures, taken at a time when Massey Energy had a $76 million verdict against it on appeal before the court. It was in the Supreme Court. We were waiting to, we were getting ready to decide it. So he would know that? Oh, of course he, he would know that. Of course they know it. Over the years, Justice Maynard has refrained or failed to uh, disclose this very close relationship. It turns out the two men and their girlfriends spent three days together on the Riviera in France, Monaco, and Italy. Justice Maynard says he paid his own way, and there was nothing wrong about vacationing with an old friend. No, as long as it doesn't affect the case. Um, it's, it's no different than spending time with him in Charleston, West Virginia, if we... We, we have, we've had lunch and dinner publicly in Charleston, and so what's the difference? It's a different location, that's all. And just who paid for the champagne that filled the Lalique crystal flutes seen in this photograph? The Chief Justice's then-girlfriend, Brenda McGann, does not recall. I oftentimes, as most women do, excuse myself at the end of a meal to go to the restroom. Um, you know, so I, I honestly can't say who paid for the meals. Justice Maynard says he and Blankenship took turns buying meals. We, I think uh, he bought a dinner, I bought a dinner, um, and that, uh, that's, that's the only thing. We, I think we each bought a dinner. Justice Maynard says the case involving Blankenship's company, Massey Energy, never came up, and he saw no problem sitting in judgment on it the following year when he voted with the majority in Massey's favor. There was nothing improper with it. And in fact, the very first case that, that I decided uh, involving Massey after that trip, which was about two months after the trip, it was a, a, a million dollar, maybe several million dollar verdict, and I voted against Massey. But this year, when the photos got in the hands of the lawyers suing Massey in the much bigger case involving $76 million, Maynard finally took himself off the case and a new hearing was ordered. I don't think there's a legal scholar in the country that, that would say that uh, a judge that participates in that type of uh, conduct uh, doesn't create an improper appearance. And that's really the standard. Massey's Mr. CEO Mr. became upset when ABC News approached ABC him for News. comment. No, how you doing, Mr. Blankenship? ABC News. Hey, sir. According to ABC News producer Asa Eslager, Blankenship tried to tear off the camera's viewfinder and did break the camera's microphone. But Eslager was not hurt and the tape survived. Blankenship later issued a statement saying he often visits and dines with Justice Maynard, did not discuss the case, and that any notion he tried to influence the court with election money or trips is baseless and absurd. Oh, he has shifted the court. There is no certain, there is no doubt about that. That money has shifted the yes. judicial temperament of this court. No question about it. No question about it. Last week, the West Virginia Supreme Court ruled on the Massey appeal again without Justice Maynard or Justice Starcher, who says he too felt he should take himself off the case because of his role in the controversy. And once again, Massey won the appeal meaning they won't have to pay the $76 million verdict. By the way, the acting chief justice in the case, who voted in Massey's favor, was Brent Benjamin. The judge Blankenship raised $3.5 million to help get elected. When this occurs, it really destroys the faith that I had in the court system for the last three uh, decades, quite frankly. This is Brian Ross for Nightline.